Alrighty, folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Noah Gregson 2023 Sunseeker Resort Chevrolet Camaro. Let me tell you, this thing is amazing. You have the gold etching around the numbers. You have a very sleek, modern looking paint scheme a brand new sponsor i believe to ever be made in the 164 line this is the final year that uh, legacy motor club slash gms petty whatever you want to coin it as is a bow tie manufacturer team next year be, there'll be toyota so get it while you can and without further ado let's go ahead and pop it out of the box all righty folks we're out of the good old parcel and check out this freaking die cast holy cow man this paint scheme is awesome, dude. You have a very solid charcoal gray base coat. You have a little bit of a two-tone design with kind of a black A, B, and C pillar decal wrap. But then you have like this very modern kind of a wavy uh, water pattern. And you have this gold like metallic printed stuff. Look at that around the 42. And you can just see that shimmer. Very, very small specks of gold. And it's also around the whole bottom trim of this die cast and when that's not enough it's on the roof as well this is a incredible looking die cast of course pick this one up from our friends over there at circle b die cast guys cannot recommend it enough go get your copy today use that promo code and if it's still in stock hey maybe you want to save a little bit on shipping too and uh, let's dive into this die cast review so you got the noah gregson front windscreen banner uh, I got the Sunseeker Resort logo right there in the hood. The Louisville decals look really different on this one. Not sure why. This paint scheme was on, uh, what, what's his face, Grant Infinger's Mid-Ohio truck, I believe, which I wish they would make a die cast for that. But unfortunately, they hate truck series die cast. So if you want something cool like this, you pretty much got to make it yourself. I mean, heck, you want to see another cool paint scheme? Check this one out. Got to make it yourself. So anyways, uh, for your Cup Series cars, usually they make most of them. Go to the front of the car, I get the uh, Chevrolet Bowtie headlights. This side looks a little bit higher than this one. Got Legacy Motor Club, definitely a unique name. Sunoco Rookie of the Year decal, or Rookie decal, Sunoco, uh, once again, 42. Beautiful, beautiful, love that gold, man. Now, I will say, I don't want the gold outlining on every single car, but it is kind of cool to see a trademark. And the reason why I don't want it on every single car is, is you're going to encounter some paint schemes that are not going to look good with it, right? I kind of like how RFK has done their little uh, signature etching on the sides, very reminiscent of the DEI days. Um, so I, I, I like the idea of having a team trademark for their cars, but this it works on this paint scheme, but it's not going to work on every paint scheme is what I'm trying to get at. I uh, got Noah Gregson right there on the driver side panel. Not sure what these logos are. It's Sunseeker Resort. I love sideways logos. That's the proper way I think to wrap these next-gen cars is to use a sideways logo. Don't use a teeny tiny logo here or here. Take the whole side panel, and that is the proper way I think these, these next-gen cars should be wrapped. Got the number 42, NASCAR 75th Cup Series. That decal's a little bit crooked. Uh, good, good year there. Get a Safety Clean Mac Tools SEM. Man, that gold looks fantastic. Got the 2023 Camaro uh, bottom. Go to the back end of the car. You got your rookie tape. Once again, the gold stripe goes all the way around this car. It looks fan freaking fantastic. Got Legacy Motor Club, Sunseeker Resort, Camaro. Uh, I will say it's a little bit bitter, bittersweet not seeing the petty name no longer on the team. Uh, I'm not sure how much, if any, he owns of it. I doubt it's any of it. <laughs> Maybe they're just using it for sponsorship, you know, the idea that he's, uh, his presence presence is in the team. Maybe he still owns some of it. I have no idea at this point. Uh, that team has been combined and bought out and joined with, like, I don't know, like eight different teams since the year 2000. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, it seems. You've got the right side of the die cast. Very cool looking paint scheme. Just little, like, wavy brush strokes around the car. This is going to be a popular die cast. This is going to be a very popular die cast. Uh, I, I don't know if he's going to win a race in it this year. I mean, it's halfway of the season when I'm filming this, but I know he's had some gnarly wrecks in this paint scheme. So if you're a custom crash maker, uh, you might be interested in picking this one up. Got the 42 on the roof, and this is where you can really see that gold. You have kind of a, a medium tone orange with that gold outlining. Very unique. I dig it. I definitely do. And you go over here to the back panel of the roof, Sunseeker Resort. This logo is a little bit crooked, unfortunately. Uh, I got Gregson. That thing is off-centered. 
And once again, another off-centered logo on the deck lid, so <laughs> why not? I'm telling you, man, this is one of my favorite paint schemes of the year. It's the first ever uh, full-time Noah Gregson Cup car. We did get his, um, his Wendy's car from last year. This is an awesome paint scheme, guys. And also uh, the number 16 uh, colleague car for Noah Gregson, the, the Knights baseball car. He ran at the Coke 600. They didn't make that in the 164 as well. Uh, but in terms of full-time, this is the first one. And you know, my honest thoughts on his season thus far. I, I feel like the equipment he's driving in is not that great. I, I really think they took a massive step back from 2022 uh, Legacy Motor Club, that is, when they went from Petty GMS to LMC. And my reasoning for this, and th this could be completely theory, uh, you know, theorized, it's not factual. I think them switching from Chevrolet to Toyota so early in the season, you know, announcing it, Chevrolet kind of cut them off, I think, from their newest model uh, of their updates because they update their cars multiple times through the season. They have different engine packages, suspension packages. Uh, they update the teams and the cars throughout the year, uh, always trying to get better. And if you know a team's going to the other side of the ballpark, why would you give them your best secrets and tips for this next-gen car that the teams are still somewhat learning? Uh, so I think that's definitely put them behind on speed, and you can definitely tell there's some frustration with Gregson in his interviews, but I think the joining uh, with Toyota might bear a lot of fruit, because usually when Toyota backs a team, they're successful. Who knows? It could, it could end badly. It could be the furniture row route. It could blow up in their face. Who knows? But um, I, I tell you what, it's the most Toyota teams they'll be, uh, you know, competitive-wise in the Cup Series Probably since the MWR days, maybe. I, I don't know about that, but it's it's been a long time since they've been uh, multiple, multiple cup teams that were Toyota-backed that were competitive. Because you have to think about, like, in 2012 or 2011, you know, you had the MWR cars, even 2010. You had Red Bull Racing, which they won, like, two races in their tenure with Toyota. Uh, obviously, Joe Gibbs Racing. So, who knows? Who knows? But uh, what do y'all think about this car, guys? Make sure to comment down below I personally wish Noah Gregson would run more Xfinity races because I just like seeing him win. <laughs> He's one of the funniest um, post-race dudes out there. Watching him win races in 2022 with the Xfinity car, oh my goodness, every time he got out of the car, man, it was, it was like a party, right? And seeing him just not have any success in the Cup Series and... It's just, uh, it's really, really sad because Ty Gibbs is having a great year thus far. He's probably going to get Rookie of the Year unless Gregson wins uh, because that's how the point system works. Whatever rookie makes the playoffs is pretty much guaranteed uh, because they get like 2,000 more points than everyone else based on how the point system works. But uh, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely recommend this car. One of the best die casts of 2023. Don't wait and get it in the Authentics line. It's going to be botched, most likely. Don't wait. Save yourself the time. Pick it up in what we call the Gold Series, uh, or ARC, whichever you want to coin it as. I like to call it the Gold Series, because why not? Uh, but yeah, pick it up in the ARC Gold Series, and uh, you'll be thankful for it. So that's all for now. Diecast Buffet. Thank you for watching. Signing off.